Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I am going to do the first part of a project that I have been working on for what seems like a very, very long time. Um, May Larson from Creating with Details uh, sent me a gift of a doll head. Um, she's made some, and she sent me to um, make one of my own. Thank you, May. And I have been working on this for a while. Um, first of all, it took me a while to figure out what was it that I wanted to do, you know. Um, so I've been playing with lots of things. And I also had to figure out, um, May also sent me this um, dress form, as you can see. So what I did was there was a little, like, spindle here in the top of the dress form that I cut out and inside here is, is a really stiff styrofoam so what I did and, and it looks kinda messy and yucky um, you see all the glue and stuff there um, is I used this phenomenal product and I don't know if you guys have used it it's generally for like carpentry or um, things of that nature for wood um, but I snagged this from my husband because I thought, okay, y'all have seen these commercials for Gorilla Glue? Well, let me tell you, that stuff is awesome. Now, I've had this drying for a couple of days, but let me just tell you, it is on there good. Her head is not going to come off, and then she'll be further um, secured. Her head will be anyway, um, once we get the, the body dressed. And... That's what I have done so far, and I just this I just have put up here for right now, um, just to keep her hair out of the way. I certainly did not want that glue to get in there because then she would have been ruined. So before I proceed to, with that, I do want to share with you guys um, a campaign that we have started, and I will put the link to the fan page for this below. Um, in the spirit of all of the olive branches that have been extended, and in the spirit of um, support, uh, goodness, love. We have extended olive, olive branches across everywhere to put a stop to all of the, um, you know, the nonsense that's been going on recently. And I would like you all to join us in our campaign. It's called Stop the Hate, Let's Create. And we do have a fan page, as I said. I will put that link um, in the description box below. Please share it. Please join with us. Um, we want a place where there is no drama, where there is no hatred, where there is no anger, animosity, nothing. Just good old-fashioned creating and sharing and having a good time. So if y'all would like to join us there, please do so and invite your friends to come on over too. Um, we're going to try to rebuild this community um, and all it takes is one person at a time. So I hope you'll join us in that. So to get to the project at hand, what I've been playing with is trying to create a dress for my doll. And this is what I have come up with so far. Now like I said, been playing with this for a while. I had some fabric, <coughs> excuse me, that I purchased at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Um, I think with the intention of, I don't know what I had my intentions of, but this May had gotten some a while back and she did some gorgeous flowers. So when I saw this and I had my coupon, I went, oh, I need some of that because these two are like my favorite colors. Seriously, my room is painted like a a pale um, aqua teal uh, color so I wanted colors that would you know go with my room so what I've done is I had a pattern um, that I purchased oh my word I don't even know how long ago uh, let me see if I have it here yes I do okay this is the pattern that I purchased a really long time ago okay and um, I, I don't know what happened to half the pattern. It was gone when I opened it up. Because um, I saw this when I was looking for something else. And I thought, oh, that would be kind of a cool dress for, for a doll. And this one was for a, um, 
16 to 17 inch doll and I, I haven't measured my doll yet I don't know but all I did was just take the pattern and I'll show you the pattern piece that I used to create these pieces right here and that's all I used out of well, that and the sleeves okay let's see oh here they are these are just the pieces and, and you could um, I can't share this because it's um, copyright protected but I did kind of look around on on Pinterest and Googled um, you know doll dress patterns and all these are is just you know just pieces like this that I cut out and I just sewed together I ain't really paying attention to all the notches and whatsoever I just created them and then at the bottom um, I just kind of only sewed it up so far right here um, and then just you know turned this under and just did a top stitch across it and underneath here I stitched a piece of this lace roughly trim I, I don't know, material it is a material it's not a trim um, underneath it and I did that here on the inside let me turn this up inside out so you can see what I'm talking about see I just sewed the you know the right side to the wrong side of the dress so that when it's turned right side out and it's on her hopefully these little ruffles will show through this fabric here and this is like a I don't know it's not really a satin it's a, like a rayon I don't, I don't really know what it is but and then for the back of it I just cut a piece and as you can see I wanted this longer kind of like a train so all I did was cut a big piece of this and I, I'm I just eyeball things I'm really bad at, at measurements because I don't tend to measure very often unless I'm trying to repeat something over and over again um, so what I did is I just simply measured a piece and then I sewed it to the sides of this piece this is the front of the dress I sold it up both sides and then on both pieces because I wanted um, the fullness to be evenly distributed I just did a running stitch along the front and then a running stitch along the back so that when I put it on the doll um, I can adjust the gathers the way that I want them so that the appearance is the way that I want to do it and I know you guys that are dressmakers or seamstresses out there are probably going <laughs> it's okay because um, I'm not going to be changing the clothes on this doll um, and if I do I can just get another one and, and you know dress her differently but as you can see when you lay it um, together the back side is just a bit longer and then I have also created the sleeves um, again I use the pattern piece uh, from that pattern that I showed you to make these sleeves and the reason that I wanted to do sleeves is because you know this mannequin doesn't have any arms you know this dress form so I wanted to give her some arms and so I used the pattern um, from that one that I showed you and I created a uh, just a sleeve okay and then added the same ruffle to the bottom of it and I did that for both sleeves. Now what I'm going to do um, is I've cut a pieces, a couple of pieces of doubled up muslin. And yeah, it looks rough, but I haven't I have not stitched this yet. But I'm going to stitch these and measure how long I want her, you know, arms to be. And I'm going to take some wire and wrap that wire with fiber fill kind of similar to the doll that I, I did the um, kitchen angel doll only this is on a bigger scale and then I'm going to stuff that into this arm which is what I'm going to create when I sew it together and attach that put it through the sleeve and attach that right here and I will sew that and glue it so that it's permanent and then I will build the bodice on top of the sleeves and the skirt piece kind of backwards I know but after much debating and hemming and hawing and trying I figured that was the best way to do it so those are the pieces that I've done so far I have also taken um, some wedding appliques 
and I coffee dyed them because I want to, I didn't want this to be stark white. I wanted it to look vintage. So I coffee dyed, um, and I was amazed at how quickly these appliques took that coffee dye. It was like a matter of five minutes, and I had this gorgeous vintage looking color. Absolutely adore it. And then I also took um, some lace trim that I got from uh, Creating with Details. And I'm not sure. I'll have to double check and see if May still has this in stock or not, but it was white. And again, I coffee dyed it. And you can see how that complements the um, appliques that I dyed. So I'm going to be using those pieces on here. And then I've just gathered some other, um, some other trims. Um, this is also um, a gimp trim from Creating with Details and some flat back pearls and some other materials that I, you know, gathered that I either had in my stash or were, you know, from Creating with Details. And then I made this little um, flower. This is what I was talking about with this ruffled material here that uh, I think I'm going to be using on the back of her dress because I want the back of the dress to kind of resemble a bustle. Um, that's my goal. Whether or not I achieve that will, is, is yet to be seen. So at any rate, these are this is what I have done up until this point. And as I said, I've gathered a, you know a large number of, of materials. Again, all coffee dyed um, that I'm going to be using in this. Some more gimps. Um, just a variety of things. Um, I have some of this trim that's also from Creating with Details. And it's not as dark as this but it's still uh, like a creamy ivory color and so I'm good with that it doesn't all have to be matchy matchy and in fact I don't want it to be matchy matchy I just want it to look you know vintage some of these pearls on a string um, let's see what else do I pull out oh we cannot have um, you know a vintage dress for heaven's sakes without bling now this is um, a necklace and earrings that I've already used the earrings for other projects, but this is a necklace that uh, I think May still has in her shop in the uh, rhinestone section, the altering section, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But I'm going to probably be using some of this as well because we have to have bling. It's just all there is to it, it has to have bling. Oh, and then I have some other little buttons and different things that I've pulled out. Some um, some other um, rhinestone trim, things of that nature. And I don't know what else I'll be throwing in here. I think I have some sorry ribbon left. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. But just, you know, gathered a bunch of different things that I think might, you know, work and, and give me the, the look that I'm going for. Now, I may or may not. Um, add these angel wings that I got from, these are baby angel wings that I got from, um, from Creating with Details. And they are the right size. Um, and I thought perhaps I would, if I decide to, you know, go ahead and make this an angel, I thought what I would do on the doll's head is, you know, create like a, um, a floral, band um, kind of to use it with flowers you know to hold her hair up and of course it will look better than this but you know kind of give it that halo effect along with the wings so that's that's one of the things that's kind of in my head um, so I will finish up all of my pieces but I thought you know what you need to get this out there and show people um, to make yourself accountable and get this done. May posed a challenge last week um, to get three things done that were on your desk. I failed miserably, did not get it done in that time frame, but this challenge kicked me in my keister and said, you know what, Robin, whether you missed a challenge or not, doesn't matter. You need to get these things done. So I'm putting this out there, you guys, so that you can hold me accountable and say, Hey, Robin, where's part two of the doll? And you'll keep me honest and you'll keep me straight. So I'm going to close it this time.
and I am going to make the arms and that's you know kind of figure out how to attach them because I don't want to fumble around on camera and make you guys you know snore and drool on yourselves so I will be back when I get her arms done and then together we'll put all of this together and we'll decide um, whether we want to make her an angel or just a pretty girl so until next time guys please be kind to one another love support encourage and inspire and as we say stop the hate let's create I love you guys and until next time God bless bye bye